why, why do you think everyone here should really be working on Java 7 and using it and upgrading as fast as they can? So good. I'm all ears. Java 7, I was talking in the tech keynote this morning about how we went to Plan B, and Plan B makes it sound almost like a bad thing, doing Java 7 in 2011 and Java 8 in 2013. Um, but the reality is there's so much in Java 7 that we crammed in. Let's say I show, you know, I've shown the project coin language features. Now, these are not big features, but they were explicitly designed with a lot of input from the OpenJDK community. Many of the features were proposed by members of the OpenJDK community um, to help programmer productivity. So they're very small language changes in a way. But I'm confident that as you go back to your own code and just read it, you'll say, oh yes, if only I was running on Java 7, I'd be able to use Markov patch. And oh yes, if only I was running on Java 7, I'd be able to get rid of all of this code and use Trojan resources instead. And I would actually also encourage you to look at the NIO2 API uh, that came in in 7, because there's, a, there's an entirely new and standard API for accessing the file system, uh, accessing file permissions and metadata that works across platforms uh, that, that, that people have asked for for many years in Java, and now it's there standard in Java SE 7. Uh, so don't, don't forget these APIs, don't forget the fork join framework, um, which has existed standalone for some time and has now been integrated to start off back in Java 5 as Java util concurrent. Uh, and now more and more of the fork join framework has come in uh, in 7. So that's something you may have been relying on, but now it's been uh, in the platform. Uh, of course, there were hotspot improvements uh, the, the um, G1 garbage collector. Uh, there were improvements to Unicode. I think we're on 6.01 now in the platform, which I, I guess uh, is, is important here. Um, uh, um, many improvements uh, and bug fixes in <coughs> Swing, in class loading, actually, if anyone's running uh, OSGI containers uh, and is very uh, as John Rose likes to say, if anyone here is torturing class loaders, there were some improvements both in the API and in the implementation uh, of class loading. Uh, so it's, it's not just language features, it's library features, it's VM improvements. Obviously, I know there are talks here about uh, JRuby running on SE7 and using the Invoke Dynamic infrastructure that came with JSR 292. Um, and that's that went into Java 7. The expert group is continuing to work behind the scenes on improving the API and the implementation. So I, I said at the Java 7 launch that JSR 292 is the first time that the Java virtual machine has charted its own course separate from the Java language. So there, there were features added to the JVM in SE7 that you actually cannot access from the Java language they are there to support other languages, other language implementations, uh, like JRuby and Dragon. Uh, so I didn't talk about that in the tech, tech, tech keynote because it's not visible to most people. Uh, even if you're running these other languages, you don't obviously see what happens. Um, but you should know that the language implementers are continuing to work with Oracle uh, on improving the Invoke Dynamic infrastructure. Uh, and in fact, Lambda uses Invoke Dynamics a lot under the covers as well. So Invoke Dynamics is, you don't see it, but it's, it's, it's basically critical to the uh, evolution of the JVM. So if you get onto Java 7, you're getting onto that train, which is uh, going forward very fast. Okay, thank you. Um, I believe we had a question from the audience that we wanted to push your attention to. Hi, uh, I'm a JCP industry member. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm working on a project which is I implemented to study a new tutorial about. Okay. So can you advise how on how to subject this to this question? Are you? I'll, I'll repeat the question. So you're an individual member of the Java Community Project, and you and I guess colleagues, um, associates want to submit yes. a JSR. Yes. 
but you haven't done, you haven't sort of did anything yet. Okay, uh, so the job community process uh, is a set of rules, uh, it's an arrangement between members, such as yourself and, and the corporate members, uh, to develop the standards for Java technology. And one of the reasons Java has been very successful is when you develop the standard specification, you also have to, to, to supply a reference implementation and a test kit, a technology compatibility kit. Uh, it's not optional, you have to do all three of those things. The rules around how you get started, how you form an, an expert group of like-minded individuals or companies, um, those rules have changed very recently, actually. Uh, and Mike Heath referred to it in the, uh, the, the, the part of the technical keynote. The 2.8 version of the Java community process, for the first time, requires expert groups on JSRs to be open. For many years, it's been up to the choice of the spec team, for the expert group, as to they can be open, they can be closed, now they actually have to be open. So you, you have to have an open naming. So this is what you're letting yourself in for. So you have to run a publicly visible mailing list. You have to be transparent in your decisions about who is on the expert group. You have to be transparent about your choice of licenses for the spec implementation and test kit. Um, uh, there, there are other sort of rules to promote openness. <coughs> as far as getting community uh, interest, I would encourage you to look for a presentation by Martin Mearberg of the London Java User Group, uh, who has started a program called uh, Adopt a JSR. So Google for London Java Adopt a JSR. And he has a presentation on how to build community around either an OpenJDK project, is one of them actually, uh, or a JSR. Uh, and lots of the work you have to do to build a community around the JSR are similar to the work you have to do to build a community around any open source project. You have to work out a way for people to contribute, to get on the expert group, um, to respond to criticism. When crazy people show up with crazy ideas, you can look forward to that. Um, it, it tells you how you should speak in public uh, and promote your JSR at conferences like this. And I know there are, I think there's the, 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 the caching JSR has a talk uh, later on today. So it's, it's very much now in the JTP about being more open and explaining and promoting your work far more than it's ever been. And if you can do that, um, uh, the, ex the executive committee is likely to be very interested uh, in your work. あの、あの、JTP 
キーのプロスペクスに関しては、まあ、基本的にそのあのオープンソースプロジェクトと同じように、あの最初からあのそのどのライセンスを選ぶかとか、あのそのどのコミュニティメンバー参加するかを、まあ、あのできるだけ早くあのネイプ、まあ、ネイプときにあの明確にする必要があって、あのまあ、そういう新しいルールを従って、So we, we have um, one, uh, one, uh, one customer, did you have、oh. a question? Yeah. Sorry,、uh, apparently you have other questions. Unfortunately,、um, we've run out of time for, for your session, but、um, afterwards, <laughs> if anyone has any particular questions,、um, you can, you know, I, I can help with translation if there's a motion to direct,、um, you know, contact them directly.、Um, I'm sure we won't need to all of them, but they'll all. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.